Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Dashboard videos. This is the second in a series of five videos that will show you the basics of working with dashboards. This video will show you how to create a dashboard widget so that you can design how the data is presented within the dashboard. In our first step, we created the dashboard and prepared the canvas. Now we're ready to add widgets to the dashboard as data containers. Click on the widgets gauge icon, then expand the widget menus to see the types of widgets available. We'll use the rectangle widget to represent color-coded alarms. Drag the widget to the canvas. To resize the widget, pull any of the edges, in, or out. The lower right corner is used to move the shape around the canvas without changing its size. To delete a widget, select the widget and click on the trash can in the menu bar. To create two more similar widgets, you can create them individually. But an easier way is to clone the first widget to get the same shape and size. We've separated and aligned the widgets to begin the dashboard layout, so now let's label the widgets. Click on the Properties icon, and expand the General and Label menus. Then select the first widget. From the Properties menu, you can add names and labels to each widget. A list of widget names is kept under the Navigator tab whenever you want to select or add a widget. The label is the caption that appears for the widget in the dashboard. After naming all three widgets, we can connect these rectangles with lines. We'll use a connector line to drag a line between widgets. Anchor points will appear when the line approaches the widget. After we've drawn the first line, we'll draw a second line. Because the lines are anchored, you are able to drag widgets around the dashboard, and they remain connected. Click the connector icon again to turn them off. You can also create a standalone line by dragging a line widget onto the canvas. Then select the connector icon to drag the endpoints to the desired position. Next we'll add a gauge to the canvas. We'll also add a linear gauge and a line chart to give us more information about our previous parameters. We've resized the widgets and given each one a label. There are other widgets also available, including a SQL table, a filtered list, and a context selector. Using these requires more in-depth information. You can refer to the online documentation for the Unified Management Portal to see more detailed information. Finally, we'll add a text widget for the dashboard title. Drag the widget onto the canvas. To edit the text, double-click on the widget and enter the title name. When you click outside the text box, the type text settings will be applied. You can size the text box by dragging its corners, and size the text within the text properties. You can also add additional text boxes for subtitles. It's always a good idea to get into the habit of saving often. And now would be a good time to save the dashboard. Here's how. Hover over the dashboard menu at the upper left. From the drop-down menu, select Save. Then you'll have the option to create a folder to hold the dashboards. This is useful if you're creating a series of dashboards for a particular account. To create a folder, enter the folder name, a forward slash and then the dashboard name in the folder path. Click on the Save button to complete the dashboard. The next video to view in this five-part series is Assign Data Sources to Widgets. You can also learn more about creating and using dashboards within UIM by registering for the course titled CA Unified Infrastructure Management Advanced Presentations.